Hello beautiful people. We will dive in in the character formation. If you think, if you don't know what is the best damage statistic, what should you focus on, as you should check in the character. I'm here for you and we'll cover all of as it. As someone who using the, using, as someone who is playing the game more than a year, I have some knowledge, nothing is perfect. But I do know more or less the things now. So I want to share the information with you. So let's cover the beginning. I will cover all of it. Some things will go deeper. But let's start from beginning. For attributes, what you see on the screen is the normal attribute. Additionally, you have talents. For ta sorry, talents. Titles. They give, give some bonus. In beginning, you will want to use all the small ones that you progress during the game then from events you will get higher higher stats and you will not be changing them just the ones that gives you most of the stats some of them are temporary so you swap around but not a big deal you just press activate then if you don't see these stats that means not that divine realm attributes that means you are in lower Prestige, Divine Realm attributes and Divine Realm itself opens in Master 1. If you need a video, I have all about it in my channel. For appearance, go just here on your icon, avatars you get through events or from prestiges, from quests in the prestiges. They don't give amazing stats, some of them can have some specific more bigger stats, most of them don't do. For frames, again, same thing. I, have to, I changed my thing and I cannot live without mine. Here, as you can see, there's a bunch of temporary ones, some are permanent ones. You change your avatar how you like. For bubbles, same thing. Events, and from every prestige, you have battle pass, kind of battle pass. Name, avatar, same thing. They don't give a bunch of stats, you progress, you get them, most of them are from events. You change yours, so when you chat, you know how you look. For fruits, fruits are important. For fruits, one, the top ones are from the Warzone shop, cross server shop. They don't give good stats, you can still get, they're free to play. The bottom ones are from a bit pay to win, so you choose only damage ones always choose damage ones forget for hp except with your if you're veil as you see here i have full because at the beginning i was playing a lot now i stopped so i don't maxing out plus i'm not doing the hp ones anymore some of them are from like from sanctuary they are good especially you don't use for these ones at the beginning Check the Sanctuary 3, Accuracy Adjustment, and here I'm sure they are Effect Evasion, not needed. I will talk about Effect Evasion and Accuracy later on. Accuracy Adjustment, Evasion Adjustment, they are most important. Sanctuary Fruits are very important, they are free to play. I will let you know where to get all of them. Some are from the events, if you participate, and Divine Realm Fruits are from it said from operation event, but it's not true. It's from from Divine Realm Tower when you unlock Divine Realm. Let's go see where you get them. Oh, my Divine Realm later on. You go to shop, cross server, and you see a bunch of them, bunch of fruits from Prestige One, and with every Prestige you get more and more. You just buy them and you unlock. You can change some of if you get a fruit you're able to change you just press on it and you change it and you can change again and again fruits are able, you can recycle every fruit which is good thing that means you can choose your own fruit whichever you want of course sanctuary you can change to different sanctuary one normal one you can change to normal one most important what we will talk today is about attributes about character attributes if you press in the bottom you can see 
all of it just press on the top and scroll down whichever stat you want to know attribute instructions it explains to you every statistic that you have how much percent you have and some information about what each stat to you can go back to basic one thing i would like to mention allocations same divine allocations when you reach it you should keep on recommended because they are needed for equipping the armor which means you just keep it as auto you have no problem we'll be talking about defense attack critical damage accuracy evasion adjustments and normal accuracy and evasion same as effect evasion and we'll just have a couple things about the damage double damage and other increases but main thing is the critical strike and evasion so now let's go deep into damage accuracy and evasion let's start with damage for damage attack bonus is the most common thing damage bonus goes after and final damage is the last which is the rarest that means you should always choose final damage over damage and attack almost everything gives you damage sorry everything gives you attack or it gives you damage final damage is more harder to get that's why you always choose final damage or any other stat then damage and then attack for example in companion combos in armor cosmetics companion combos is here and you can see some of them give pp damage attack damage pp damage or normal damage is same just one works everywhere one works just in pp so that's an example for pp sorry for companions for critical strike choice we have three lucky strike pursuit and excellent strike strike lucky strike you can get only from armor upgrades from here armor upgrades in maya shop if you go to one shop and guild of maya you can buy this armor and each of them have armor you just transfer the stat and and as well you have in wings that's only way you can get the lucky strike that's why no one increases luckily there's no defense but if you maxed out everything you are able to get a couple lucky strike and might be useful in future doesn't seems like that developers care about this so we just forgot about the lucky strike for now when i spoke about armor is here every armor have lucky strike five percent from the maya shop but it's really not your focus in critical strike let's go back to character and now the important part is the let me go for you excellent strike and pursuit you can focus on one of the pursuit or excellent strike both of them deal similar damage Personally, from the beginning of the game, I prefer Pursuit more and I stick with it and now it's my primary critical damage, which is Pursuit. So now you choose your critical strike, try to focus on one certain style of critical strike, which is Pursuit or Accent Strike. It doesn't matter from where you get it, Plums, Armor, Deity, anywhere else, you need to choose one of them i might like to say as a side note from many tests of other players in the end of the game in the end game people started notice that excellent strike more consistent damage than pursuit because pursuit is more random damage and then increases when excellent strike is percentage at the beginning of the game everyone thought pursuit is better always was questioned pursuit or excellent as i know endgame now i would try excellent chance or excellent strike more now both of them are very similar but people say that excellent is better i still stuck with pursuit and i will it's too hard to change when you're in endgame that's why at the beginning of the game you should choose and stick with one because then changing all is not that cheap and it's not that easy i would say you need only one choice only one can hit whichever higher 
highest chance or whichever have more defense you are able to hit with one of the pursuit or excellence chance when you when enemy resistance is lower or just by the chance there are many bonus ways to increase damage such as double damage which, which is main focus now for people in the end end game but it's very very hard to get it's in just few things few items skins costumes i mean then penetration and other adjustments in the game in the end of the day both are very similar pursuit for early excellent for late game we don't know what other updates we will get we might get some changes or anything currently you will not miss on either one choose excellent if you're early early game if you chosen pursuit i'm not sure if you there is so much big difference in damage in general in having pursuit i'm stick i still stuck with pursuit and i'm happy for defense it's same as pursuit strike or excellent strike you need or pursuit resistance or excellent resistance it's self-explanatory it's important to have both because you don't know who what enemy have so you just stack as much pursuit and excellent excellent resistance together and you will see where it is if we transition to realm of offense and defense for accuracy and evasion take center stage because accuracy is and evasion is most important stat in this game now after deity after all the updates accuracy and evasion is two most important stats because they're literally or enemy hits you or don't hit you doesn't matter how much you can evade of course you need a bunch of evasion and let's talk about all the evasion possibilities main thing regarding accuracy and evasion you have level let me see where it is i'm not claiming i have high because i don't have mine is very low i'm trying to catch up but that's what i have for now second stat after accuracy level and evasion level is accuracy adjustment and evasion adjustment they're most important mechanics in this game after evasion because they're literally increasing your le evasion level by percentage of your accuracy level these adjustments can be obtained from various sources such as deity again plums and other stats but plums wing plums wing plumes i'm so sorry wing plumes and deity are the the biggest factor at the moment for increasing they play a critical role in the character in combat not in in the strength not in combat power as a cp it's in your character as we know now you know for a very long time combat power is not everything it's about your accuracy and innovation at the moment their most most important statistic stats attributes however you want to name it accuracy evasion and accuracy adjustment and evasion are most important stats you want to as max out as much as possible again i will repeat myself it doesn't matter how strong enemies if he don't manage to hit you you are alive because you dodge evade everything we have another statistic which is effect accuracy and effect evasion serves as spe special metric for pc which is crowd control me i stayed 400 and i changed everything to increase accuracy adjustment or i'm still changing it more you have again bigger chance to avoid or hit but this is just for crowd control which is stun knockdown silence or any other statistic always prioritize adjustment over the effect simply put how you balance evasion accuracy tweak them is key to winning battles 
By focusing on improving these basic skills, players can make themselves tougher by tougher awaiting attack or you can hit enemy which with more hit faster you kill enemy again i will come back to where we get all that kind all the evasion and accuracy deity wing mount armor normal armor costume for pv damage increase this is working only for pvp same as damage increase this pvp stat increases just in pvp same for defense pvp defense is for the attack of pvp damage so it removes your damage like your defense gives defense lastly there is damage for bosses which is for pve only it's self-explanatory as we have more and more pvp content it's not bad stat to get it's purely for pv pv player against the environment now for divine realm attributes it's really much much easier one thing to again you unlock them at master one and you'll need to know it's the excellent and excellent strike and critical strike are two different stats and only one can hit at a time but it's possible to but it's but you increase as much as you can both of them of course as the as the beginning we have base stats for base stats you have attack defense hp they are lasting to care about percentage will increase your damage always more as any game this is in a way just basic overview of the statistics or attributes we you get all the damage increase defense evasion accuracy you get it from everywhere in the system you play game new thing opens and you see there if you know that you need to focus on accuracy and evasion you focus on accuracy and evasion you should not focus from day one first focus on your critical as a damage when mount armor come when mount armor comes out then it's easier to start increasing evasion At the same time you want to increase the attack when deity comes out then it's purely about evasion and accuracy but at the beginning focus on pursue damage or excellent damage as i mentioned people say excellent is better now because of the late game at the beginning was pursued and then both of them are very very similar so whichever you choose whichever you like it's your choice if you think i did at least an okay job or good job and like the video please don't hesitate to like the video or subscribe the video check the newest playlist i will put this video in the newest playlist i'm trying to do series about every function in the game and thanks for watching the video that's all for the video again thank you for watching and have a beautiful day bye beautiful people bye bye